So the next thing that we're going to talk about is leadership in action. Now, why is it that I particularly want to talk about leadership in the form of where it applied in action, where it's executed, that's what we're talking about here. What we're trying to get across when we say leadership in action is we want to portray the values of leadership that apply directly, not theoretically, but practically to a team or to an organization. The question, the question I have, do you have to lead people in order to be a leader? I'll, I'll give you the answer. The answer is no. The answer is that lead, leadership is a mindset. And what that means when we say that we want leadership to be a mindset is we're starting to apply this idea that if you want to be a good leader, you have to be a good executor. Yeah? You have to be able to actually deliver on things. I think that a big problem that I often see with companies <coughs> is this fact that they want to have leadership values, but they want to create the culture for leadership after the company's already beyond certain steps, which is always harder to do. Leadership starts with the individual, and it can be trained into other people. I've always believed in that idea that it can be trained, and it's been exemplified in what I've been able to do and work with companies. So what that means is it means that you have to be able to instill the kind of values that we expect from a leader. Yeah? We expect the sense of vision, we expect the sense of honor, we expect the sense of stability, of calm under pressure. But what we really need from a leader is, again, it comes back to communication, it comes back to sales. A nasty word, almost a swear word in a modern cultural context. We hate this idea of being salespeople. We disguise this job. We disguise it by calling people relationship managers. Yeah? It's a term we all know, we all come across. Always hear all the time about this relationship manager who plays this important role in communicating the values of the company. But really what his role is, is he's able to deliver value. He's, he's, he's there to make sure that you understand the value of what you have, or what you might have, what you might be pu purchasing, or who you might be working with. So where it comes first, this form of leadership in action, it comes from this idea, this framework, yeah, that what you're going to get out of it, what you're going to create out of it, is people who believe in the same things as you do. Yeah? So when we have leaders, when we have true leaders, what do they create? They don't create followers, they create other leaders. You've probably seen one of these quotes on Instagram or Facebook or something where it's, it's, it mentions this exact, this exact quote. But I think what it is, is that you know, Einstein, he has this quote that if he had an hour to solve a problem, he would spend 55 minutes on the problem and five minutes on the solution. Why is that? Why do we want to spend 55 minutes on the problem? The reason why we want to spend 55 minutes on the problem is because we want to understand what problem it is we're trying to solve. Everyone's in a rush, particularly modern generations. They want to fix things so quickly because they have such an expectation of what they want to get out of something before they even start. So what they do is they start to build something without first understanding what it is that they really want to do. The foundation is wrong. So what I encourage when we try and train teams, what we try and get them up to speed and get them working proficiently, you know, is we focus on this idea of understand what it is correctly that you want to build. You know, if you want to create an atmosphere, a culture of leadership, you have to start asking yourself the whys of why people do their job, of where they hold value, what parts of the business they really care about. If you can start to get that across to a culture and organization, that's when you start to unlock real value.